Today we shall be looking at cardiovascular physiology. The function of the heart is to pump blood to all body tissues. And in today's video, we shall discuss the basic concept of stroke volume, ejection fraction, and cardiac output. Let's start by knowing what's end diastolic volume. At the end of diastole, the left ventricle is fully relaxed, and this is known as end diastolic point. The volume present in the left ventricle at this time is known as end diastolic volume. End diastolic volume is approximately 120 milliliters of blood in a normal adult human being. End systolic volume. At the end of systole, the left ventricle is fully contracted, and this is known as end systolic point. The volume present in the left ventricle at this time is known as end systolic volume. End systolic volume that remains in the left ventricle at this point is about 50 milliliters of blood. Stroke volume. The stroke volume is the volume that is ejected out of from the left ventricle in one heartbeat. To calculate the stroke volume, we do so by subtracting the end systolic volume from end diastolic volume. Like in our case, we have an end diastolic volume of 120 milliliters and end systolic volume of 50 milliliters, which is the normal finding in a normal adult. Therefore, we calculate the stroke volume, we get it is 70 milliliters of blood. Another concept is the ejection fraction. Ejection fraction is the volumetric fraction of blood pumped out from the chambers in each contraction. To calculate ejection fraction, you divide the stroke volume by the end diastolic volume. Like in our case, the stroke volume that we have calculated is 70 milliliters, and we divide it by end diastolic volume of 120 milliliters, we get an ejection fraction of about 58%. These are the findings in a normal person who has a stroke volume of 70 milliliters and a diastolic volume of 120 milliliters. Normally, the ejection fraction ranges from 50 to 65 percent. This means that in each contraction, the heart has to pump at least 50 percent of its blood from the left ventricle. Another measurement is the cardiac output. Cardiac output is defined as the amount of blood pumped by the left ventricle in one minute. To calculate cardiac output, you multiply the stroke volume by heart rate. In a normal adult human with a resting heart rate of 70 beats per minute and a stroke volume of 70 milliliters, there is approximately a cardiac output of 4,900 milliliters of blood per minute. Because cardiac output is related to the quantity of blood delivered to the tissues, it is an indicator of how efficient the heart can meet the demands of the body. In some conditions such as heart failure, the cardiac output can be very low and insufficient for even simple daily activities.